have a 1.8 liter front wheel drive Nissan, then we're gonna go through the steps to replace the water pump. Before performing a cooling system repair, it's recommended to flush the cooling system prior to installing any new parts. With the engine flushed and fully drained, disconnect the negative battery cable before beginning the repair. Before starting your repair, you always wanna be sure you're working with a cool engine. Loosen the four water pump pulley bolts and the upper power steering bolt and tensioner. For ease of access, we'll remove the right front tire and lower splash shield. Loosen the lower power steering bolt and remove the drive belt. To gain access to the water pump retaining bolts, loosen the alternator belt tensioner and remove the belt. Finish removing the water pump pulley. Remove the seven water pump retaining bolts and remove the water pump. Keep in mind there may be some residual coolant in the system. Be sure and capture this. Before reinstalling the new water pump, thoroughly clean the gasket surface area. If using a silicone based type sealant, only lightly apply it to the gasket surface areas, paying particular attention to the bolt hole area. Using excessive sealant can cause coolant system failure. It's not necessary, but it's also a good idea to apply a small amount of anti-seize to the thread area. Install the water pump and torque the retaining bolts to 15 foot-pounds. Install the water pump pulley and hand tighten the bolts. We'll finish tightening these after installing the drive belt. Install the water pump drive belt and tighten the manufacturer's specs. Install the power steering belt and tighten the manufacturer's specifications. Tighten the lower power steering pump bolt. Install the lower splash shield and wheel. Torque the lug nuts to manufacturer specs. Tighten the upper power steering bolt. And tighten the water pump pulley bolts to 60 inch pounds. We'll now reinstall the coolant recovery tank that we removed during the flush procedure. With the repair complete, reattach the negative battery cable. It's a good idea to test your pressure cap. A faulty pressure cap can lead to an inefficient cooling system. If you do not have access to a pressure tester, these are available at your local parts store. Fill the system with a 50-50 blend of distilled water and coolant. Start the vehicle and turn the cabin heater on high. This will help bleed the air out of the system. Allow the engine to reach operating temperature and check for leaks. Shut the engine off and allow it to cool completely. Top the recovery tank off to manufacturer specs. 